Hello everybody, welcome to my weird and wonderful world and back to another hot chicken cooking show. I will probably try sometime this week there to do a different recipe to show you something different. But this is popular. I know I know certain people who really do like this. I got the stove already warming up at, uh, I like, I don't know, I like 400 degrees. Some people are pretty comfortable with 350. I don't know, I, I, cause I just like cooking my stuff with just a little faster, I guess. So let's get to it. This time, I'm gonna add something to the recipe. I got these uh, zesty cheese Doritos, okay? I'm gonna, I'm gonna crush some up, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna add that to the extra crispy uh, mix. So I can, I'm only gonna use one bag. Sometimes I'll use two. But I want to see how much uh how much Dorito Dorito dust I can get on there, in there. So and zesty and I, I want the zesty cheese to give it a more of a cheesier taste. So I think that's going to be a decent addition. And I'll tell you how that goes when um when we when I eat into it. You can see where the bottle is. That's the Reaper 51, of course. If you want to, if you want to know how high, it, how hot it is in the Scoville, it's like 1.6 million Scoville. You can look it up if you like. But I'm going to put the rest of that. In fact, I'm going to do that right now. Put all the rest of that in there. Yeah. And I want to thank everybody. I mean, and I do mean everybody who commented and and watched my uh, my ten uh, most hated bands. Now, of course, I wanna. I just wanna add now that me saying most hated, okay, was just more of a clickbait thing. It wasn't really. It's not really as extreme. Of, as that okay these are bands i really don't like but i don't actually hate them you know i don't hate anybody or anything like that it's just bands that i really don't i i can't stand to say hate that's harsh you know i don't really mean hate that was clickbaity <laughs> i will admit oh i got my milk i got my milk and you again you want to take the milk before before you, you know, you start eating those. So I'm gonna have some of that soon. I want. I like to. I always like to mix in some uh, some honey garlic to give it that. Give it some extra little flavor. But and it adds, and it adds a bit of sweetness to it. I'm gonna put that back in the fridge. Now, I guess. I wanted to give it a, a, a bit of a black cherry flavor, and that's a heat index of eight out of ten. So that must be pretty hot. But it's still it's still nowhere near the Scoville as that. I could add some extra. Just a dash. Just a dash more. I'm not gonna put the whole thing in. But just to give it that extra boost. Just in case some, and just in case people don't think it's hot enough. So I'm gonna whisk it away, whisk away. And this time you see I have uh, I have some parchment paper, some this silicone parchment paper. It can handle 420 degrees. So I have it at 400 degrees. It is warming up right now. So I want to make sure that's a good mix. Pretty well blended. There we go. I'll just stick that inside here for now. Get on top. So that's that's what I like to get for chicken. You know, I like to get strips rather than having you know negotiating around bones and and that you know more meat. You know, I am hungry. I haven't eaten anything, so it's a good. It's I'll be getting this. It's a, my first meal of the day. So basically consider that breakfast. I'm gonna open up my milk. And again, 
for a cooking video, however long this lasts, it lasts, you know? So I'm going to move that aside for now. Just this is right here, and now I'm gonna, I, I want to start off with the, with the zesty cheese. Press bag. I'm gonna eat one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Grab off my half the bag. I'm using this more as a with a cleanser. It's working well once I get smaller pieces. Yeah. Sorry for making you wait through this, but I want to make sure I get dust. You know, I don't have to be dust. I could have probably did this beforehand, but you know what? It's all good. We're going to make the content uh, go, go up. Yeah, at last look, I was at almost up to 800 views on that, uh, on that most hated, uh, yeah. I thought I was being funny by saying most hated, you know, and I'm, and of course, some people will get offended. You can't help that. You can't help that. It's not their fault, you know. I I I forgive them for getting offended. <laughs> but music is so subjective. How can one person, you know, put down another person's taste for music? You can't. It, like that I don't understand. I never I will never put down other people like okay, I don't like those music, but I'm not gonna I will not condemn anyone anyone for for liking the music that they like you know you know am i going to condemn that uh that that mother of three who who you know who loves who loves the same kind of music that their mother that their that their kids like you know you know you know that and you know and the mother's not going to like the same kind of music i'm going to like far from it She's going to like that easily accessible, you know, type of, type of music. So there is a market. There is a market for NPC music, you know. There really is. This might take a little longer than I was hoping for. I want to, is there a way I can make that go faster? So, so yeah, to put down another person's, uh, you know, you gotta you gotta consider their area where they grew up, uh, when they grew up in that area, what access that they had to certain kind of music growing up. You know, if you're if you're over a certain age, your access when you were small, your access to certain music was limited. You know, and you like. Things that other people liked, or what was available in your area, and or, or what you were exposed to on on certain platforms like much music or MTV or whatnot. You know, to be able to criticize, to really criticize other people's taste in music, again, you know, I'm it's not I'm not criticizing other people's taste in music. I'm just you know saying that these are bands that I don't like to listen to. They annoy me. They 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 grate on my nerves. Are they, have, or they have you know? I could have easily put uh, you know. <laughs> some some people probably would put like people like Gigi Allen on 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 that list of, of things they can't listen to. You know, the the the, <laughs> the top ten most hated bands by by moms. Or by or by uh, police officers or by or by I don't know teachers or by a clergy <laughs> or a minister you know we're going to have a different uh, point of view. I can't seem to get this piece. I, I want this to be a fine dust. I should have did that before. Okay, just give me a second. I'm going to take this rounded cup and see if I can't. Crushing, crush, crush, crush. Oh, that's working much better. 
Yeah, there we go. Now I'm getting some dust in there. But gotta keep it all toward. Oh, don't want to spill any. I'll be cleaning it up any anyway after for sure. Okay, that's working a little bit better. Yeah, that's what I need to do. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't consider how long it was going to take me to uh, to crunch up these uh, the chips, but they don't have to be that 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 fine. You know, that made quite a bit there. Okay, I, I I'm satisfied with that. Let's put that aside. Hopefully, you can see how well I uh, I think that's fine enough. I wish it would be finer, but whatever. So let's open up the uh, extra crispy too. I like crispy, and with the with the chips, I think it's gonna be even even more extra crispy. Oh yeah, that uh, oven is really heating up now. It's, it, it's taking me long to get. Oh, and I want to drink my milk. Start getting that in me, start coating up my stomach. So I'm gonna open up the the pouch, add one bag of that in there. You know, I'm gonna give it that oh yeah. I'm getting a little anxious. I'm getting, no, not anxious, that's not the right word. I'm getting a little excited, I guess. So, oh yeah, that helps. Once I mix it there, it's going to be more than enough for sure. Yeah, I'm very, I'm really curious how that uh, Dorito dust is going to, how that's going to fare. Yeah, that's giving it a good mix, plus it's crunching up some more of those, trying to get some of the more bigger chunks be finer, just a little finer. There's not much, there's not too much of it in there. Now, if you like whatever you want to like for music, I'm gonna put that in there. I don't need that one there. So now reverse again so I can now first before I put any of the sauce what I like what I'm gonna to try to do do I wanna do that? Cause, yeah. Cause I want yeah, I wanna just dust it first. Yeah, you yeah. That's what I was gonna do. Dust it first. Once to wants to fall. Good thing I cleaned the counter first before anything. <laughs> really make sure it was clean first. I wanna Oh I put it in there. Uh, that's not what I wanted to put. Let's put this aside for now so I can get this done right. And I don't wanna linger too long on this. It's uh 13, 14 minutes, yeah. And yeah, yeah, that's gonna be good. I think that's gonna be good once I get, once I cook it a little bit and get that, then, cause what I wanna do is just a little bit of the crumbs on there, cook it for about 10 minutes, take it out of the oven, then you put it into the sauce and put sauce all over it, put some more breading over it, and then put it back in for maybe about 15, 20 more minutes. And yeah, I because I want to make sure it's thoroughly cooked. And then how many pieces all together? Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, nine pieces. That's perfect. Usually I get about eight pieces, but I got an extra piece this time. So, I mean... It's not perfectly covering every part of it, but it's an there's enough on there. Oh yeah, that's gonna be perfect. That's gonna be good. 
Yeah. Is once I get that sauce on there, because I can see all that chip dust sticking right to it. Oh. There we go. So there's nine pieces, lightly breaded. Stick that in there with that on the bottom shelf, actually. Okay, so set the timer for 11 minutes because I, I'll, I'll get it at the warning once it beeps the, the once. Okay, okay, okay. Don't need that. And as you see, I didn't let any of the my hands touch the chicken directly at all. You gotta always use uh, to, uh, tongs and, and stuff. And yeah, well, we're good. We're good. So there's my sauce. There's my chicken breading. I don't need that. If I if I do, I know where it is. Let's bring some more milk. So yeah, this this is usually the the, the routine that I do. Um, there's still some drops in there. I'm I'm gonna want to make sure I get all of it. I don't want to waste any. When you when you realize how expensive this is this is and how much you know how much I put in there, just a just a little drop so I can stop up the rest of it. Yeah, just a just a drop of water. Oh yeah, and then pour that in. Ooh, yeah, there we go. Now, uh, now I got it pretty, pretty good. Throw that in the garbage. Give this an another really good whisk. Yeah. So I'm not sure what I want to talk about at the moment. You know, I pretty much said said what I need to say for the mo for for now. Yeah, yeah. So I I again I am still in the process of 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 uh, cleaning my apartment. A little later tonight. The next time that you see. Not well, not now. Or like one year later, you're going to see me in my room eating these, and my room will still be looking the same in the background. But the next time, like tomorrow, probably by tomorrow, if I film again tomorrow, you're going to see the background be different. I am going to be changing things around. I am doing a major, major cleanup tonight and tomorrow. I want to kind of, I want to get to these floors again. I want to go over them. A couple of times they're a little too dingy for me still all right so ah, seven more minutes to wait yeah ah still thinking about that contest like it is 100% on the go I know I keep mentioning it but I just want to keep I just want to make sure that you guys understand that I I, I really want to be doing doing a contest for you I'm not gonna again. I'm not gonna be buying the card right out and and and, and saying that that way. Is I'll be I'll make the contest and whoever wins. Uh, I want I want two gift cards. Whoever when I'll pick two winners. It'll be something where I put it in. It'll probably end up being a draw where whoever enters the contest and I will pick pick it out of the hat. But I want to make a. A cool contest. I want I want it to be a contest that that people will enjoy. That they they feel like they you know that they participated and and had fun you know getting you know getting the prize. Uh, it's not just luck that I want to win the prize. I don't know. I want people to not necessarily earn it. No no no. I want people to be able to easily win it. 
But yeah, I want people to be satisfied and have fun. I, it, it's a major thing. I want to make sure people have fun and enjoy the contest. Yeah, yeah. And it's mostly about giving back. Because the contest came about from uh, when Larry Graves gave me, gave me that that wonderful package in the mail, you know, an awesome, awesome, awesome gift, and I, and that is just me. I really, really wanted to pay it forward. That's the main purpose of the uh, of the contest is to pay uh, is to pay that generosity forward and 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 give somebody else a positive feeling, you know. Yeah, I keep telling I keep telling you how much I love everybody out there and how much you know I love people and every and everything. And I'm sure people don't believe that. You know, people are still gonna make fun of me for my sputtering and stuttering here and there and not coming directly out with my thoughts right away. That's fine. That's fine. You know, I'm gonna just be me. Again, my channel is my name. I'm the channel. My channel revolves around my world. When you look at my my homepage, it says, you know, most weird and wonderful world. I mean, that should explain everything. I mean, if you're coming to my channel expecting me not to be a little weird, then you then you then your expectations are completely off. You know, you should be coming to my channel expecting, you know, and weird is good. You know, Weird. I don't have. I don't have a problem with weird. There's nothing wrong with a person being weird. I like weird bands. I like Weird Al. I like Sparks. I like Devo. You know. I like Ween. I like. I'm sure I'm gonna like the Residents. I gotta listen to some more Residents. You know. There's some. Yeah. There's some. I. I really. I should probably look for some Residents, and that's gonna be on my list. Yeah. That's gonna be on my list of stuff I wanna. I need to get. I'm um, yeah, I'm I'm well on my way of getting some good Beatles stuff, so I'm happy about that. I played some Beatles last night. Oh yeah, I played both. Uh, I I played. But I still haven't played them in the earphones yet. I just kind of played them out loud. But I really want to, especially Abbey Road. I think I understand. You know, I think that might actually be be my favorite one also. I really, I mean, Help was good. Help was really good. I really enjoyed Help. It had some good songs. But the entire album of Abbey Road is so well put together. And I, I, and I, and I pretty much remember, like, knew most of those songs. I, like, like, I, I knew more songs off of that than I thought I did. So like every song that kept on that kept on coming up was like oh I know that one oh I know that one so the majority of the songs on Abbey Road I I already kind of heard before but I haven't heard some of those a couple uh, a few of those for quite a while but it's like yeah it's nice it's like yeah it's great having those songs I actually really enjoyed the, the yeah no I, I'm 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 thinking I'm thinking Abbey Road might be my favorite Beatles album that I own so far. I'll see once I get the rest of them, but it, yeah it it really sh outshines the rest in other ways. I mean I still of course Sgt Pepper and and uh, <laughs> and uh, Rubber Soul and 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 a couple others there that are are really good. I mean the the yeah, I mean the white album is had had some gems on it too. But yeah, there's something a little special, and I can understand. I can understand. I can put myself back in in those eras, and like to be a fan growing up with the Beatles and 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 seeing them on the Ed Sullivan show and, and where and where or wherever, and and the impact that they would have had. Like when let's just I mean not so much with uh with help but listening to Abbey Road how innovative that must have been to hear that for the first time it it was you know it was so it would have been so different than what had came before it I mean even like yeah even of course uh, Sergeant Pepper's Lonely Club Heart Band you know that would have been so different to hear at the time so I can completely understand why. 
why it had the impact that it did on that generation and and the art like the the next generations really should like and they do most part they do really need to appreciate the pioneers of such greatness in music you know yeah so yeah that, i just wanted to let you know of that that i'm going to be doing a uh a mini a mini ranking and ratings of what i own in beatles stuff not the bootleg stuff not the uh that other records thing there but the official albums the six that i own so far so let's take that out now get my glove i got a black glove for this one this this time see there see that's exactly what i'm looking for I want it, yeah, oh, 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 that looks actually interesting. Okay, I'm gonna do this kind of this way a little bit because I wanna, I don't wanna, I really don't wanna put the pen on the counter. You know, that's not healthy for the counter. So, am I, yeah, okay. So uh, what I wanna do with each one now is put it in the bat and in, into the sauce See, now, see, it coats it perfect. It coats it perfect, put it, oh, timer off. And then, okay. Oh, wow. Now, okay, before I even put it on there, take a look at that and tell me how good that is going to be when, once it's done, hey? Now, I tell you, I, 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 when I saw the bag, I, I don't know, the other day I just saw the bag of, of, of uh, Doritos and I'm like, that is going to, uh, that is going to add such a flavor to it, you know? I'm trying to get as much on there as possible. I don't know if I should actually put it back in the sauce again after, too, or one more time to add more sauce to it on top. Should I? No, no, I think it's going to be hard enough as it is. It's adding some girth to it. So, I think it's going to be delicious. I'm still going to be sweating like crazy. We'll see how much sauce I have left over. If I can maybe dump it into the sauce one, one more time. Because I really don't want to waste any of that sauce, you know. It's, it, I mean, there. I don't think I will be. It, it's giving a pretty, pretty uh, thick coating of sauce, and then I add the uh, the crumbs on top of that. And then I'm doing it very gently so I don't lose any of that. That's gonna be. Cute. I think that's going to be so good. I think these are actually going to be the best, best hot chicken I've made yet. Yeah, it, it seems to be taking all the sauce. I'm at, I'm on number five. I still got four more to go. And yeah, the sauce went down quite a bit. So. Oh, pretty stoked. Okay. Yeah. Like, just the fumes. I haven't even tasted any of it, but the fumes is making me, is making me sweat right now. Like, you know, I can feel. <laughs> yeah. It, oh, no. I want to put it in the batter first. Right. So, once I'm done doing that, I'll be putting it back in for 20 minutes. But, I'll be... During that time, while it's re while it's cooking the rest of it, I'll be setting up everything in my uh, in my in my room for the for the eating for the sweating. Gotta make sure I have my towel, my trusty towel. <laughs> so yeah, yeah. Um, uh, I I also need to get back to my art tutorial. 
we've been kind of putting that off for a bit. Well, you know, because other things. Uh, my trip. Yeah, my trip to uh, to uh, Shidiak and back on my phone. I I'm gonna look into seeing what I can't do to actually post that directly from my phone. But I don't know if I can't seem to figure it out or whatever. Uh, I might just have to delete that and make smaller videos and see and see how that goes. So one more piece left to go. So it actually took all that sauce. So yeah, yeah, it, it I had just enough sauce because right now it's way a little bit too thick to uh. So put I just and I just have just enough pretty much just enough of the crumbs to give that a, that extra coating. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Put that in the sink. I'll give that a little spoon there. And just in case it's still hot, it shouldn't be. I'm pretty I'm pretty I'm pretty uh tolerant to to touching hot stuff. But here you go. There's my 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 breaded, so twenty more minutes. Put that back in there. By the time that I have this posted, I will be, well, I'm going to post them back to back, of course, but by the time I have everything set up into my room, it will be cooked. All right, I'm going to just drink the rest of my milk here, or should I wait until before, just before I eat? Yeah, I'll save the rest of the milk just before I eat. And... I'll see you there, I guess. So I don't want to say bye yet. I'm just going to say see you later because it's going to be, yeah, they're going to be posted back to back. So everybody, peace out. See you there.